Hello and welcome back to our Treble D Beach House series. In this video we'll be adjusting some walls and putting in cupboards. We'll also be introducing the tape measure and the scale tools. While we're here we're going to have a look at our stairs. The landing at the top is looking a bit dangerous and needs some sort of barrier. So we're going to put in a little cupboard in here. First we'll make a wall to house it in. We'll take the tape measure tool, zoom into this wall and click. Then we move the tape measure tool out in the green direction and type in 8 feet. In metric you type in 2400. The tool will place a dotted guideline. Now we multi-click on the wall to open it up for editing. We take the rectangle tool and form a rectangle up to this yellow guide stump. We then pull it out to the guide line then pull it out to the other side of the yellow guide stump. We tap the control key to make a copy. Then we make a couple of double clicks here and there and that's it. Use the pencil and the rubber to tidy it up a bit. Now pull up a dwarf wall. Just start to lift it up and type in 3 foot 2. In metric you type in 950. Now we're going to put a capping piece on top. We'll make it an inch and a half, so type in 1.5. In metric, you type in 35. Now we're going to put in a cupboard in this space. First we'll move this cupboard in the bedroom, we'll move it into the corner. Just tap the right arrow and reference onto the wall. Now we're going to spin it around and make a copy. We use the rotate tool. Uh, get it so that it's looking blue, then tap shift. Tap control to make a copy. Now click on the centre of rotation. Click again on the back of the cupboard. Crank it around and click again. Now we move it into place. We'll lock the green direction and zoom in and reference onto the guideline. So the cupboard's looking way too big. We need to scale it down. With the cupboard selected, we take the scale tool. Now move the cursor to this cube. It's going to turn red. Click on it and move downwards and reference onto the dwarf wall to get the right height. SketchUp will now scale down the cupboard accordingly. So it's still poking out a bit. So move the cursor to this cube and click on it. And once again, reference onto the face of the wall. And that's it. We can leave it as a cupboard or turn it into a desk or a bench top, whatever you like. We now go to edit, select delete guides. Now our dotted line disappears and we save our work. If it's all too hard or if you just don't have the time, please feel free to contact us at Treble D. We have very modestly priced consultants who can help you out with construction drawings or any aspect of the design process. Cheers.